Okay, everybody, I was asked to demonstrate how to put a hole into an existing cylinder, and this individual has asked me to center the hole that I create. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new standard part real quick to show you how to do that. I'm going to have to start by building just a simple cylinder. So once this prompts to the, uh, the graph, the XY graph paper here, which will happen in a second, I will be happy to do that. Um, I'm going to make the cylinder, uh, in order to start the cylinder, you got to create a circle. So I'll click on that and I'll make, a, let's say, a two inch in diameter circle, at which time I will then extrude it. And I'm going to make it, oh, two inches for the extrusion. All right, now the question was, how do we put a hole into an existing cylinder right in the center? Well, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is click on the surface you're interested in putting the hole in. So I'll click there, and then I will choose Create Sketch. And then that prompts me to this screen, at which time I'm not gonna just put another circle in, and I, I know the tendency is to just click Circle and put one right in the middle. Instead, you're just gonna select the, the option called Point. And then you're just going to zero in at the origin point and place the point by clicking. I did that. And then I'm going to click Finish Sketch. And as you can see, there's already a little point right there. And But there's also, more importantly, the option called Hole. I'm going to click on that. And it's already demonstrating that there's going to be a hole through here. Um, what's interesting about this part is I can actually tell the program how wide and how deep I want the hole to be. First thing I'm going to do is explore this termination feature. Right now it says that the hole is determined to go all the way through. I don't want that. I'm going to go instead to distance. When I do that, then I have the option up here to determine how deep I want that hole to be. Let's just say for the sake of this I want it to be a half, a, half an inch deep, uh, and then this feature tells me how wide do I want the hole to be. I already know that the original circle I made has a two inch diameter. Let's just say I want a one inch diameter for the hole that's inside. Okay, now the last thing. Over here is what I call the drill bit option. Right now it's set to be at an angled, uh, 118 degree angle. I don't want that. I want a flat head drill bit being used so it's smooth on the inside. This is beneficial especially when you want to try to constrain something later. When you use the insert constraint, you want to make sure that you use a flat head drill bit. I'm going to hit OK and you can see now that we have a hole centered in the middle of a cylinder. Thank you.